In a video conference, General Stanley McChrystal followed up President Barack Obama's Tuesday night speech with an important postscript for the troops. If you think about where we are now, even though it's eight years, this is not the end. This is not even the beginning of the end. I think it's the end of the beginning, and I think everything changes right now. On Capitol Hill, lawmakers and top administration officials discussed the specifics of the change in strategy, including 30,000 additional U.S. troops and a proposed withdrawal date in 2011 before the Senate Armed Services Committee. I say with respect, I think the American people need to know whether we will begin withdrawing in 2011 or and conditions are ripe for that or whether we will just be withdrawing no matter what. Our and current I think plan is that we will begin the transition in local areas in July of 2011. We will evaluate in December 2010 whether we believe we will be able to meet that objective. The White House explained why the president is setting a date to wind down the war, which has become a major sticking point. What's important is understanding, they understand that we're not going to be there forever, that they are going to change their behavior uh, in order to take ultimate responsibility for their country because our commitment is not open-ended. The new deployment is expected to cost $30 billion a year and it will bring the number of total service members in Afghanistan up to roughly 100,000. In Washington, I'm Samantha Hayes.